Alright guys, we're back with Death Volteria and Kara, if you I'm gonna get Allie out right after this. Uh, this one just ran out the door. That's what we're basing things on this morning. Whichever one runs out the door gets the training. Anyway, I found my favorite jeans. These are retro jeans from the 70s. I know they look like they're actually from the 70s, but they're not. They're new. They're my favorite jeans. I'm wearing them every day. Alright, so if you said how far did I get, not far. But you know, if you said what are you doing? And again, I'm saying to myself, what can I contribute? And I was even doing it this morning, and I've done it every day, you know, even if I said I'm just going to do it for two or three minutes. Um, I do it every single day until I get to a certain permanence, and that's what you have to understand. If you kind of stop and don't do it, it's better. You've got to have a continuum until you get a permanence of habit, or it's not. It's going to go away. I mean, that's just what you have to understand. So anyways, obviously very interested. I don't have a collar on him, and I wouldn't be using the collar at this point unless he ran away, but again, you should just have it on there. It's not, you know, I got, I just snapped on that woman this morning because I realized I can't deal with people that talk like this woman talks. It says, well, it's fine with the stems. These people are not looking to develop anything. They're looking to do a 20-year-old method. I don't know. I just snapped. I'm convinced she's Larry Crohn's friend. Anyway, so I've got my dumbbell, and I am. I'm making it have value, and I'm canning the excitement. You know, obviously he's deaf, you know, but if you said, oh, correct him for getting in the basket. Oh, God, never. He thinks pushing the baskets. Oh, you know what, Sheriff? If you're there, he could be the next bowling. We could have a bowling competition. And so I'm looking for that mouth a little bit. I'm looking for that mouth to open up. Oh, he bit it. And I, it's going to come back to haunt me. And I'll regret it. <laughs> and I'll say, you know, I taught him to grab stuff. <laughs> you know, and the fact that he went over there... Uh, you know, after it fell, so that he, that kind of showed he didn't necessarily think it had anything to, you know, that the pushing didn't get it. Ah, <laughs> oh, he getting it, he getting it. <laughs> and honestly, these little ones are, oh, <laughs> Once he sees he can bite it, I, it's, it's going to be all she wrote. And I've only done a couple short sessions. I didn't get, have time to get to him yesterday, but I did work it in. And I mean, you've got to say, if it only takes, again, we're not talking about 20 minute drills. I mean, I seem to be working them for 20 minutes because I'm sitting out here for 20 minutes talking, but you know, I'm kind of tempering it in between, but, you know, if it was, if I was going to dinner and I wasn't leaving for 10 minutes and they weren't going to pick me up for 10 more minutes, I would, I would say to myself, it'd be worth it to work it in there. And if you can do two or three of those a day, you're going to move faster. So, anyway, let's just see. And so I'm going to just try to duplicate. But he's getting his mouth on it. But what I did this morning when I was working them, crash started coming in there, so I was kind of letting her do it as an example. No, he, didn't, he wasn't noticing at all. It was, it was very strange, you know, and I think, you know, I think I have to say to myself, if he was going, if he was the type that was going to notice and model the behavior, because some dogs are probably more prone to that than others, he would have done it by now, because he's always there. He sees all of them doing it. I have to let him get to the point where pushing doesn't get it. And I can say biting gets it. I mean, 
Oh, I can hear the clackety clack of his little teeth on it. Said, why aren't you adding the... I don't have time. There's no time. Ah! You know, I think you should maybe with one like this start it out ritualistic. You know, it's getting, it's, it's got the thing, it's getting it out. It's getting it out, it's putting it over there. Everything he did, the only thing he got a reward was biting it. close very very close you know and when you get to this point you're probably better you know to start gunning it and I, I'm definitely I'm gonna work on him all weekend very very close though and that's why you know if I stopped right now honestly with this dog if I stopped right now and didn't do it and just said well I'll do it after the weekend he would probably forget you know but again I'm not making it like you know I think in a way, you've got to make it like, I love this thing. If you want me to love you, you're, you're going to have to marry up with this thing. You know? I don't know why you were asking me about what I was doing, Mark. I don't know what all these questions are. It's just something, you know, I don't know. It's called look training. And I, I understand it's not as good as a trained retrieve. And I know I, you wouldn't want to put it on every... I think some dogs, you would want to just do it as a trained retrieve. But I think you could work this into a trained retrieve pretty easy. It just would take a lot longer. All right, so here we go. And again, I'm not trying. The last thing I'm doing is telling him to get it. How easily does he get frustrated? Pretty easy. So, you know, if he gets to a point of frustration, oh shoot, precious angel! Oh, I didn't have my treats right when he did it. Ah. All right, hang on. I gotta go get more treats. Because that was it. That was my breaking point right there. He picked it up. So I gotta run with that. I just said that one too. You know, and I will say that's the difference between the place and the platform. They're not going to just... He's waiting for something to happen from there. He's not waiting to be made to stay there. All right, so I've got the things. Again, I am kind of posturing. You know, I'm not saying, oh, you want to get it? You want to get it? You're not really throwing it at all because I'm only working on, you know, 
the part from here to here. So oh, he's ready to do it, though. And I'm thinking to myself, he picked it up over there, so maybe let me see if I can get a sequence. So I just kind of coached him. The, the pushing and the, all that wasn't getting it. All right, so I gotta be ready though. And I can throw in, if you said, you know, if you can't be fast, be fumbly, what would, what, how would you make fumbly? That's, I'm filling in there for fumbly. So that ain't getting it. I got it. I'm looking very close though. You know, and that's why you've got to be able to see micro movements. <laughs> Because if you said you never told this dog not to bite anything, the hell I didn't. The hell I didn't. <laughs> I said, you better shut that mouth. So I'm not going to do the pushing thing anymore. We don't have that anymore. And if anything, I'm trying to keep it away from it. Now, if anything's going to make him want it, it's that. He's just, you know, what I think you want to make sure, they're making conclusions about humans in general, not that, oh, this one's acting strange or whatever, you know, that that's, oh, that's what they do. They, you know, you know, they guard it, you know, because they can understand that. I could go inside right now, put this by shoe bottom, and she'd guard the hell out of it. Oh, God, I forgot about the dead rabbit, too, Mike, if you're there. Oh, my God. George will get it. George will get it. Thank God. Thank God George is coming. So I'm just... I didn't have nightmares about it. That was awful. everything but the biting so I'm, I'm where I need to be because if you said well how can he augment that well now I say that he put the foot in there I think that's just what you're saying if you give them the dynamic of augment everything yeah, you're gonna be in good shape and he's looking back to see if I'm going to do it next. Wait and see. And you see, he's putting his mouth on there and looking to see what I'm going to do. It's, it's to my advantage to be right there. I mean right there. to say is this thing looking is this thing see what I'm doing here you 
know, and if I had my druthers, I'd rather his feet not be up there. This dog is going to be right there. So I got him moving it with his mouth. You gotta be careful. You don't want to be touching it at the same time they do. I don't think. In that context. You know, I think what you just have to say to yourself, if I can help him understand to pick it up, and he knows things can get made better, I mean, you know, this is gonna help you with anything you do. saw though as soon as I did the guarding behavior he went back to it and if I rewarded that I'd be back where I was the other day I don't have any reaction kind of have the, oh, oh my god look what's doing Because he understands it's, it's more to do with putting his mouth on there than anything. And he's looking. He's looking to see if that's getting any reaction out of me. So I can, I, I realize now this is just kind of the yay, 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 yay.
All right, guys, I'm going to leave it with that. I'm going to work on it that, this weekend. But, you know, that's why I want you to say, you, you know, you don't, you, know, you, know, you don't want to give up. Yes, there's the ones that do it in one day. But, you know, if you're getting down to micro details, if you never see the micro details, you're never going to get there. So I was able to help him understand it's more about the mouth. And honestly, you can hear, and I'm sure you know, Mike, you can hear the clack of their little teeth on this thing. You know, so I think it is, you know, and if you said, is that dog highly intelligent? Not that I know of, <laughs> you know. And no, you know, they're bull terriers or, you know. Oh, I'm sure, don't, please don't post that online. I can see the hate mail I'm going to be getting if I, you know, people say that. But, and they just got a certain way of seeing the world. I guess if they did come at me with that, I would say, well, how many obedience trial champions are there in this breed? In fact, Mike, can you look that up? See if there's even any, any. How many, see how many of you in Australia champions this pretty big last year. All right, we'll be right back.